Hello friends, so today we are discussing about uh, if you have already have an idea because in the last video if you haven't already watched it I would highly encourage you to watch the video or uh, and listen to the podcast uh, about the business idea how do you form an idea to launch your own multi-million dollar business now we are discussing about if you have an idea you already got uh, you know some ideas okay through that uh, process which we discussed in the uh, our earlier video what do you need to do then what is the next step okay so let's delve into this of uh, what exactly you are going to do next in your launch of business so second is the market research so that means uh, you have an idea now so you have to find out um, whether this uh, idea is worth pursuing whether uh, you know you should go ahead and uh, you know build a business around that idea so that's very important that you do a market research for example um, starting a business is all sort of exciting however it also does come with its own risk that means uh, if you already do not know that means around 70 to 80 percent businesses uh, they could not sustain their business uh, beyond 10 years okay of stuff for them starting their business so that means you have to make sure that the business idea what you got is uh, worth pursuing worth uh, you know spending that time and that energy or even a bit of money as well so i would encourage you to invest a lot of money and take the bank loan uh, to uh, launch something of uh, you know um, with your business idea because um, you do not know whether it will succeed or not okay so First thing is market research. There's a lot of companies that do not, or a lot of individuals, they have that idea, but they do not go ahead and do a bit of a research. That's very, very important, okay? So let's talk about market research then. What do I need to do? Well, we have to find out whether the idea is worth pursuing by finding out whether there is demand, okay? I may have a product, uh, for people to to buy or to, for you know people um you know to to sell my products to however i if there is a no demand in the market people don't want it or they are not willing to pay for it then probably it's not not worth pursuing so that means if you have four to five business ideas so it's very very important that we test or you test every idea with these uh, simple steps, okay? First is market demand. How do you find out the demand, whether people want to buy the, your product or you'd, uh, or they would like to buy your product or you know, once you launch your product or service, is um, you know, do a Google research, you know, Google demand. So that means if you Google your term, you will find out there are so many tools uh, as well out there, um, you know, which will give you information about uh, you know, how many people are looking for that information. Some uh, Google Chrome add-ons are there as well, like similar wave as well, one of the websites there as well. So I have put in some like SEM Rush, Uber Suggest, these are some of the free websites you can type in. Um, and Google AdWord as well, you can go for a good Google AdWord research as well. That's again a free tool to find out the magnitude of demand. Again, Google AdWords, uh, you know, research, it gives you a very broad sort of spectrum in thousands. If you want to drill down to specific kind of uh, how many, then SEM Rush and Over Suggest and similar way, these are, you know, certain websites, or you can Google it as well, the market demand research in Google and you'll find out so many, so many websites uh, where you can subscribe to and you can just find out, you know, few searches, they do that. And sometimes, you know, after few searches, they will ask you for more kind of, uh, you know, money that means you have to subscribe to that, you have to pay for it. But I think with free version, you can just check your market demand unless you want to have a business in market research. Uh, then that's all, you know, gay altogether, different game. But for this, just to, you know, find out whether their demand is there or not, I would suggest to go for these free tools. Second is, okay, there may be a demand in the market now. How has been the demand uh, in, in, since last five years, since uh, last 10 years? So that means, is that demand is a flat or is this a growing demand or is this just a you know, declining demand or it's a seasonal demand, that means it goes up and then down and up and down 
okay some of the products okay they come in the market and uh, they have a very seasonal uh, sort of uh, you know demand in the market and then they, they don't dis disappear okay for example uh, you know um you know any any sort of a, any kind of a toys in the market you know you'll see that suddenly it comes and people want to buy the toys or you know certain things and then and then suddenly the, you know, that demand is no more there okay so you just have to find out an industry which is a growing okay the in demand or you know the trend so how do you do that how do you identify that go to google trend that's the best free tool you can find out country specific you can just put your terminology which which product or service or which uh, you know um the area of your business you are looking to or you can looking to do your research on put in there and google trend will give you the analysis of is a rising trend declining trend or the flat or seasonal you will be able to find that out okay and what kind of a trend then you should be getting in well as, a, as you know it too, should be a growing trend okay not a declining or seasonal so you want to be in a, a segment or a market or an industry where it keeps growing okay third thing is income potential okay let's say you have the demand okay you know that there is uh, it's, it's the demand for that thing is growing okay for example you come up with um, a toy okay you want to um uh, test uh, you want to sell a toy okay different kinds of toy or you want to sell a specific <clears throat> specific skill of yours what you have then you want to teach other people that is called digital product if you want to sell a digital product okay teaching and training other people then that comes that whether people are willing to pay you for that or not that is extremely important as well it may be people who want that people are searching for it but they are not willing to pay you for to buy anything for you know in that uh, in that area okay so it's very important that you ha you know you find out whether people are willing to pay for it okay how do you do that okay that comes you know to the fourth point okay you can do it in potential by also uh, also um, you can do your competition analysis you know together by finding out who are the other people who are selling you just don't want to be the first person in that niche or a niche okay whichever country you are uh, watching or you know uh, listening it from um, so if you are uh, you know looking for you don't want to be the first person to be in the niche but you must be asking okay so why not because I can uh, rule or I can uh, dominate okay the, the that segment the niche oh yeah, yes you are, uh, you are absolutely right what if instead of domination you know that is a flawed idea and uh, people are not willing to pay and you invest your time and money and it's you know no more good so it's either case it may happen so i would rather uh, put my money my energy my time into something which is proven okay and it is growing trend it is proven that means people are making money i just have to follow i just don't want to uh, reinvent the wheel i just want to jump in and you know the the wheel is rolling and the vehicle is moving on i just have to you know jump into that vehicle and you know roll on okay. so that is the comp uh, that is the profit potential or income potential whether people are willing to pay how much they are paying paying to other people in the same industry okay and then competition analysis how tough is the competition okay so that means how many people are there in that niche our niche and not only that but you just have to find out what additional value i can give is that whatever i want to offer is that the same thing being offered by others okay so if that is the case then probably i won't have any competitive advantage and somebody who has been in this market for some time their website is already there then probably that person has a more likelihood of uh, you know um higher penetration into the market than me okay so that means that's very very important that i do a competition analysis or my competitors analysis to find out um you know the the market and uh, you know uh, my product okay whether i'm better if i feel like okay, i am i my product will be much better than this whatever is available in the market then absolutely you saw the demand is there you saw the it is a rising trend and you you know that you know even if there is a bit of a competition but your products will stand out or you know different than others then you know that that probably a good idea to venture into now the last but not the least is mock check the interest what this so you are checking the interest of people okay by 
you know, before you put the, your time and money and energy into you know, setting up something, you have to very, very, uh, in, it's very, very important that you we test it. Okay, how do we test it that whether the idea is worth pursuing or not? Okay, it's very, very simple that I just create a, you know, um, uh, survey form, okay, and uh, go and uh, look for, uh, you know, uh, Facebook groups uh, associated with my, my field, which I have chosen now, and just go and check, okay, what are the kinds of, uh, you know, problems people are facing in, in, in this area. And, uh, you know, you can just uh, also suggest people that, hey, if you have this problem, uh, you can put a, put a survey form there saying that, okay, what would you like to have if I develop uh, a solution or I have developed a solution, I will be out. But what would you like to be included there because I am right in the middle of finishing that product or the design of the products, okay? It may be physical product or it may be a digital product, okay? So that means in that way, if a lot of people are showing the interest that a, yes, uh, you know, I would be interested to for this thing, that thing to be included or not, so that you know that the, the idea will click. If not many people are responding, many people are not in, uh, you know, uh, um, interested about this idea, then that's that's fine. You know that this is kind of, uh, you know, is not um, that of a popular demand, okay? However, Facebook group is one thing where you can check the interest. You can also have your own a page, product page, okay? Or a, a video sales letter or a video sales page you can have. Um, you can design it well or you can, you know, just uh, put it on Fiverr or, so, you know, or Upwork. And so there are people out there who can design for you as well. You don't have to put your a lot of time and energy um, you know, into that. And uh, you can just drive traffic to that page, okay? And, uh, you know, what you are doing there is saying, hey, you know, I'm just uh, launching this product on this and this day. And, um, you know, would you, be, would you be interested or you can drive the traffic saying that, hey, this product is worth this much and, uh, you know, uh, you, can, you can buy this product now. When they try to buy it, then you can say that, okay, sorry, the product is in the development. However, uh, you know, you can leave your uh, email address then as soon as the product is um, ready, then I will be able to, you know, uh, give you a shout or I will be contacting you for your order or if you want to try that product, okay? So mock check is another thing, okay? Now, after you do this, okay, market research and you find out the demand and, uh, you know, you are damn sure that, you know, this concept will click or this uh, sort of idea will click, then we are talking about a marketing funnel, okay? What is a marketing funnel? Marketing funnel is uh, once we know that, yes, this is, this is the business I want to get in, um, and good, this, because this has got a good demand, then a marketing funnel, as you can see here, it's quite important for all of us to understand that, uh, you know, how do you sell the product? Once you develop the products, maybe physical and maybe digital, whatever the product is, how do you sell the best way to sell any product, okay? If not, you are, uh, if you are not selling it on Amazon or, you know, these uh, sort of a popular in uh, sort of websites where a lot of people are already coming in. If you want to develop your own client base, Okay, instead of developing Amazon's client base, okay, you want to develop that. Nothing wrong with Amazon and um, you know, a client base, they have uh, you know, millions, but why not you generate a client or potential customer base? So this is how the marketing funnel works. That means, uh, you know, the way you can only sell your products is first you have to generate the leads. Okay, generate the leads means you have to let other people know that, hey, I am here, I, I, know, I am an expert in this, or I, I sell this product. So you are just letting the whole world know. That means that is the awareness phase. Second is we are creating a um, you know, bit of an interest, okay? Or consideration or, you know, we are just, uh, you know, getting them to uh, like the product, okay? So that is called a lead nurturing phase. Lead nurturing phase means, and once I got the lead, I just have to develop that friendship, that trust with that person. Okay. So how do you need lead nurturing is done? Well, it is, it is done through blogging, through you know video, uh, sort of a email marketing. You can send them multiple uh, you know uh, products, uh, not products to sell, but you know multiple emails. So you can send um, you know with some more knowledge. 
okay about that product and how it can be used or this is benefits so those kind of things so that you what you are doing is you are developing that trust okay and then after the intent is evaluation okay and then purchase that means that's the last which is the sales okay so that means what you are doing is you are creating the leads and then you are training them uh, you know uh, putting them in an environment where they're uh, learning and then they you are developing this trust and relationship and then once the relationship is uh, is built then you are slowly asking them that hey i can solve the, uh, this problem or i can help you with this and that uh, you know if you want this product let me know that's it so if you suddenly or right away i know you start to sell without going through this phase of lead generation lead nurturing and sales so you may fail miserably because i have also done the same mistake okay and then this is how it works out okay so hope i made some sense to you from uh, you know the business idea up to this level where you have a business blueprint it's a design of a funnel and you know that this is what i need to do to create that sales and you know so with that i am done and over and out